Yes, I'm doing another video with me in front of the camera. I know some of you don't like that, but I think it's the best way really to explain what I'm talking about in this particular video. So Android TV is a piece of firmware that I think is brilliant. It is obviously a dedicated operating system for Android TV boxes. It's totally different to the traditional version of Android that you find on the majority of TV boxes that have been knocked out by China nowadays, mainly because it is built for TVs and I think it's the easiest system to use, especially for new guys who maybe aren't experienced with Android and they just want something simple and straightforward. But anyway, that's beside the point of this video. So I have here the Magic C N5. I've already done a few videos on it and quite frankly, the box itself is utter pants. However, Anthony V has actually produced a version of this piece of firmware, which I'll get onto in a second, and made it run, run properly on this N5 box. So great job. It does actually work really great. And I'll show you it just in a second. Now, I'm not sure if Anthony V is actually part of the, this guy, these guys. I'm not entirely sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, so this group of people, and they call their system ATV Experience, or ATV Experience, I'm not entirely sure which way to say that, so I apologize, apologize if I get that wrong. They produce a piece of firmware that is based on Android TV. Now they've aimed to produce this firmware and make it run on a lot of our modric devices, so S905W, the S905X, which is running right now, or the S912. Now, this version is the latest version, and this is V2F, I think I believe it's called, and it's available right now, and it's available for all the three different versions that it's available for, I think, S912, S905W, S905X, and yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So. I couldn't actually find the other day at my S105 Xbox, but ta-da, I've got it here. Now I want to put it onto it, the actual, you know, original release of it onto this to see how it runs, because this is kind of like being like sort of mashed together to kind of make it work on the N5, because there's some weird hardware issue with this particular device. And quite frankly, it's, it's a poor piece of hardware, but we'll get onto it now. It has improved this box. Wow, it has improved it. And it's improved it a hell of a lot over the previous version as well. So I actually, because it's Android TV, it enables you to actually hook it up to your mobile phone. It actually allows you to then use voice control. Brilliant, fantastic work, actually getting it working properly. I mean, this is just a, a cheapy mobile phone and it, it works perfectly. I mean, even the voice control, I'll go to Play Store. Uh, let's search for Cody. Cody. There we go, I just didn't press the right button there. See what I mean? Works, brilliant. So it's just running through my mobile phone and it's and it's and it works great. Fantastic, fantastic work, it really is. And I find this, especially this version, is running nice and smooth as well and a lot smoother than the previous version. There's still some weird resolution issue. That's that's not the firm, that's that's something else. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But when you first load up the box, it's got set to the wrong display resolution. So you have to change it. I'm not entirely sure whether it, it sticks to the resolution you set it at, but the previous version didn't. You have to reset it every time you reloaded your box. But yeah, everything's really nice and smooth. I mean, if I go and, if I go and play, um, these jellyfish files, it does improve it a, quite a bit. I mean, it's not amazing, but that's that's the hard that's the hardware more than anything. But like this this um, this jellyfish 1080p file, for example, silky smooth, brilliant. So this box retails at like twenty five quid, and if you're prepared to stick this firmware on it, you're probably gonna get a box that's worth. You know, it's worth a bit more now, really, when you think about it. But anyway, I'm going to now go and stick this firmware on this box because I want to see what it runs like on this sort of device because the 
this hardware is it's relatively good and it's not crappy like that and it should allow me to install the original release of this.